Hello, welcome to this session. My name is Sri. In this session, we are going to talk about the networking basics in Veracle Cloud Infrastructure. This will be a small demo to give you an introduction to the various components in networking. I am going to talk about various gateways and how these gateways will provide access to different components in a cloud. So each cloud provider will define a region. A region is a geographic location. Within each region, we can have availability domain and also a VCN is defined in a availability domain. Let's assume that we have a VCN defined in this region and this VCN can be defined in a single availability domain or we can define this VCN into multiple availability domains. Let's assume that we have this VCN defined in a single availability domain. Now every VCN will have an IP range. In each VCN we will have subnets defined. A subnet is a subset of IP range defined for VCN. Let's assume we have two subnets defined. One is public subnet, the one, next one is private subnet. A public subnet is something where we create all our cloud resources and these resources will have access to internet and also any client from the internet can access any resource in the public subnet. Whereas the private subnet, we will create resource in private subnet and these resources are just private to this cloud. They can access all the resources within the cloud and sometimes they may need access to the internet. Let's assume we have two VMs defined. One VM defined in public subnet and one VM defined in private subnet. Let's also assume and define a client in the internet. Now we have various components represented. Now we are going to see how these various components are communicating each other. First consider a VM in a public network. For this VM to talk to the internet and for the clients in the internet to talk to this VM, we have a gateway that is called internet gateway. And this internet gateway gives access to the internet to all the VMs defined in public network. Also, all the clients from the internet, they can access the VMs or any resource in public subnet through this internet gateway. Now what about the VM in private network? The VMs in private network, they can communicate within each other. Because they are private, they are accessible within the network. Now this private network may have access to the internet. The reason is the resources in this private network, they might need a patch updates or they may need to talk to different other services from the internet. But because these are private to the cloud, no client from the internet should be able to access these VMs. So, we have a different gateway for this purpose. We call it as the NAT gateway. And this NAT gateway, it gives access to all the resources defined in private subnet to the internet. Whereas, any client from the internet they cannot access the resources defined in private network. 
So we have public and private supply. It's fine. Now let's assume we have a client on-premise data center. This is a client on-premise data center. Now how do we access from cloud to the client data center or from the client to the cloud data center? There should be some way to access the cloud resources from on-premises and also the on-premise resource should be able to access the cloud resource. For this purpose, there is a different gateway that is called DRG. So here you see the dynamic routing gateway. This DRG provides access to all the cloud resources to access the customer on-premises data center and also the vice versa. So far, we were discussing about how the private and public subnets are accessed in the internet and how the internet clients can access these components and how the private and public subnets can access the customer client. Every cloud provider have some public endpoints. Now, let us assume that you have a database running in your private subnet. A database may be required to have backups and assume that you are backing up your database to the cloud storage. Let us assume that we have a cloud storage because all cloud providers, they provide storage as a solution and these are the public endpoints. In order to access these public endpoints, the database which is in the private network should go through the internet and access this object storage. But Oracle is providing a separate gateway to access the public endpoints. Instead of going through internet, it can use its own internal network. Oracle provides a gateway called service gateway. Through the service gateway, any resource that is available in private subnet will be able to access the storage point. A quick recap. In this demo, we saw an internet gateway which can provide access to the public subnet, a NAT gateway which can provide internet access to the all private resources, a DRG which will provide access to the on-premises data center, to the cloud resources, also a service gateway which gives access to the public storage endpoint to all the private network. That's all about different gateways available in Oracle networking. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any question, please comment. Thank you.